While many consider lettuce to be the absolute king of leafy greens, a strong case can be made for this guy, spinach, both nutritionally and with how easy it is to grow. Absolutely fortified with vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, magnesium, manganese, iron, folate, and even protein. In my mind, spinach is the superfood overlooked by everyone, except maybe our favorite sailor man. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we'll gladly pay you Tuesday for bucket loads of spinach today. And this episode is all about cultivating that spinach. Sowing, growing, maintaining, and harvesting. Time short as it always is, so let's get going. Now, you may have heard this before, but spinach is what we call a quick crop. Seed to harvest, these guys are ready in a maximum of six weeks. Cold and warm tolerant varieties exist, so as long as you're above freezing, you can grow spinach. These guys are always direct seeded, and the seed packets can be had for pretty cheap, sometimes as low as a buck. If you're gonna be growing lots, set up your spinach rows to be spaced eight to 12 inches apart. For the actual planting, sow your spinach seeds shallow, roughly a half inch deep and a half inch apart. I sow mine heavily though, so experiment with different densities and see how that affects your harvests. Just note, however, grown too dense and you'll get airflow problems which can attract pests and disease but too far apart well and it's kind of a waste of space i sow them thicker because they can always be thin later now you have to keep the soil moist during germination to allow that initial taproot to not only anchor the young seedlings but to also help the plants uptake the moisture and the nutrients spinach grows fast so it's gonna burn through those elements, minerals, and compounds pretty quick. Most growers fertilize this crop with a nitrogen heavy application and no doubt the plants will use it. But if you have a rich soil to begin with and you regularly amend with some of your compost, you can likely skip fertilizing your spinach. If not though, and you think the plants need a little extra, use a liquid organic blend that skews slightly higher in nitrogen. Apply it about two weeks after germination, a week or so after the first true leaves appear. That's it, just feed them once. As the plants get older, excessive heat or stress will cause your spinach to flower or bolt. Do note that once the plant does this, it's done. We need to be harvesting those spinach leaves before it goes to flower. Fortunately, we can harvest spinach at any time. Simply cut those leaves down roll them in some paper towel and throw them in the fridge. Surprisingly, as long as you don't bruise them in the process, it can stay fresh like this for upwards of two weeks. Amazing. Spinach, an ultimate leafy quick crop not to be missed this season. Just like you shouldn't miss the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.